wanted to do a wear and tear video for you of another Balenciaga bag. So this is the Balenciaga part-time with the giant G21 silver hardware and it is just in the classic black. I got this at the end of 2010 so it's over 10 years old. I am the only owner of this bag as well. I got it from the Balenciaga boutique in London. I have treated and protected it a couple of times with Love My Bags products. Um, handles only on the handles. I've used a conditioner from Love My Bags as well. I've also treated this bag with a waterproofing spray. I just used the Wapru one and it is holding up really, really well. Since I've had this bag for quite a while, I thought I'd share with you some of the wear and tear that it has on it so you can see the way that Balenciaga bags age. So the first thing to note is that the shape is a lot different from when I first got it. The sides are sagging beautifully, so it doesn't look quite as rectangular as it did. It's got this lovely broken inside which no longer stays stiff. It also then, when you place it down, just melts into a big puddle of leather. It's really soft and broken in leather right now. So this is the 2010 black. As you may see from the mirror there, it has faded just a little bit. The mirror is just a little bit darker. I'm trying to move it around in the light so you can get a clearer shot. I wouldn't say it's faded a lot, but you do notice it on some places like the corners where it's just gotten scuffed, that the colour has changed just a little bit, so it is a shade or two lighter. It's not the true pure black that it once was, but it's still definitely a black bag. It's not turning yellow or green or anything, it's just going a little bit more grey. On the handles there's a little bit of wear there just on the threading, and there is some of the sealant peeling off there, having some little whiskering coming through, but the handles still look great. They're still quite stiff, they're not very soft at all, and they still hold their shape really well. Because it's a black bag, I don't think that you can really see that the handles are a little bit darker, but to my eye, the, the handles are slightly darker than the rest of the bag, so the handles have warmed up a little bit. So along the top there, you can see there's a little bit of wear on the sealant there as well, just from taking things in and out of the bag, and it has started to sag there instead of being stiff as it once was but it's still in pretty good condition. Inside the bag is still looking good. There isn't anywhere on this leather tab here um, and the zippers all still work perfectly fine. I have kept the inside of this bag quite clean. You can see a little bit of dust there, but I haven't spilled anything inside this bag, which is nice. <laughs> so there's no marks or stains in the interior. The zipper pulls do hang over the edge of the bag and that has resulted in a little bit of wear on the top corners here but I don't think it's a very significant amount of wear. I think the corners at the bottom of the bag are a lot more worn, which you can see here. And so this is just where it's been rubbed or hit against things. And the corners are definitely a lot lighter than the rest of the bag and they are a bit rougher where I've just scraped the leather off. You can see that on every corner of the bag there. Again, I don't think it's very obvious with this black colour, they're just a little bit lighter than the rest of the bag, but there is significant wear on the corners there. There's no scratches or stains or tears in the leather, it's held up really well. I think this black colour is perfect. While it is getting a little lighter than it once was, you can't really tell just by looking at it. It's definitely kind of uniformly fading across as it does. You can see the shoulder pad does have a little bit of wear where it's coming apart there, just where the sealant has cracked, and on the other side as well where the sealant has cracked through, but because you wear it over the shoulder like this, you can't notice that wear when you're wearing it at all. The last bit of wear I wanted to call out is around where the handle attaches to the bag there, so as you can see the sealant has come off and there is a little bit of the threading coming through there and that is consistent with the other side of the bag as well. I notice that a lot with the Balenciagas, they start to whisker there quite a lot when the sealant starts to wear through, especially where the handle attaches to the bag, but that's just normal wear and tear that I expect. I don't think it's a huge issue at all. For a bag that's over 10 years old, I think this is in really, really good shape. It is a bag that I use fairly often because it's black with the silver hardware. It goes with literally everything that I could want to wear it with. 
I use it in the office and I use it just on days with the kids as well. It's a great all-rounder bag. It has got a lot of wear, but I think it's in great shape. It is definitely broken in and smooshy, but I don't think that it looks overly worn or overly old, and it definitely doesn't look like a, <laughs> a bag that's over 10 years old. I hope you enjoyed getting this close-up look at the way the Balenciaga part-time bag wears and ages. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you very much to those of you who do that, and thank you for watching.